So we got Batsugan, the one and only baby, the origin of what came to be a bullet hell. That's pretty crazy and um, you know I was expecting this game not to be as good as um, Don Touch or uh, Donan Patch, uh, but uh, this game just completely destroyed both of them. <laughs> Well, I was expecting those to be better because um, they came after it, you know, but damn, did this game deliver. I was not expecting that. I just thought it was going to be an okay, you know, kind of like, um, I thought it wasn't going to live up to its name or its hype or its price, but holy shit, it, 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 was, it delivered. It was there. It was more than what I thought it was going to be, and it was great. Excuse me. I'm just going to get this out the way right now. Uh, this... You can find this game, believe it or not, for 160 all the way up to 190. Uh, you can buy it for 200, but if you wait on bid, you can get it for 170. I got mine for 168, and then I've seen some um, some on uh, buy it now for 160, and they have sold. So just don't rush into it and buy it for 200 dollars. So without further ado, let's start the show. <laughs> So the first thing you'll notice is how bright and beautiful the game is. Well, more more bright than beautiful, I think. The one thing that I really love about this game, and the thing I found the most interesting, is you actually gain experience points, and your ship actually levels up. That's something I really haven't heard of before, and until this game, I was really in awe when it actually happened, and I couldn't actually believe that it happened, and it's fucking great. The level of your ship and experience points is located down here. I'm at level 1, and the red ship's about to reach level 2. You know that by the blue bars down here. Once the whole thing down here fills up, you gain your next level. Killing enemies, and dying, and floating over this little pig thingy, all increase your experience points. I don't know about everyone else, but I have this thing called cute aggression, and uh, this little pig down here, yeah, he uh, kinda triggers that. Look it up if you don't know what that means. Oh yeah, look at that shit, baby. It's saying, proud to be from the 90s. No, seriously, look at that. What the fuck? <laughs> Damn, that girl got a booty. Alright, all jokes aside, let's go to the options. Okay, here you'll find a lot of things. Game difficulty. The original game mode or the special mode, which we'll talk about here in a second. The screen size, screen mode, or the fuck you want to call it. And to me, um, the really best part is the sound mode because I actually don't really like the arcade soundtrack that much. So uh, I'm actually going to start playing the arranged music here on Ford. I mean, here, just listen to it. It sounds so good. I love it. Yeah, that's some good shit. Okay, let's just start the game. Okay, you got the choice of three pilots here. Gino, Beltiana, and the last one. I, I, Iceman? What the? Why does he look like that? This is what confidence looks like. This is what big artist look like. Iceman is actually the only one that's actually a little bit different. As in, he actually has two different shooting types. By tapping the A button, it shoots a more direct wave, but by holding down the C button, which is rapid fire, he shoots a spread shot. The other two ships do have the option to tap the A button or hold down the C button for the rapid fire, but nothing really differs that much. It's the same shot, which really makes me wonder, why did they just give Iceman this ability? I mean, it would have been really cool for the other two pilots to have something different like this. And something I actually didn't like about this game is this kind of weird thing where you get to choose, there's actually six characters to choose from, but 
they're the same, they pilot the same ship, so there's not really six characters, there's still three, it's the same ship, and I don't know, I just thought that was kind of dumb, or in bad taste, like, don't even add those characters, fuck, and you can't even pick them, you have to play two players, so, whatever. Oh, something I completely forgot to mention is the B button is your bomb. Kaboom, baby! Look at that shit. It destroys and protects you. I love bombs. BBB bombs. Okay, let's talk about the special mode. Once you change the game mode to special version, the title screen alters, which is really cool and neat that they added that. So the special mode, all it really does is make your bombs more powerful, creates a second loop from Don Potch, Fuck yeah, everything gets harder, you know what we like. And you actually get two hits now instead of just one, which is great because I need it because I'm a scrub, but uh, that's beside the point. There's really only a little few more that I can talk about, but this game, there's really nothing wrong with it. It's perfect, fast paced, badass, uh, completely, in my, in my opinion, I wasn't expecting it to be this good, but uh, just blue, 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 blue? What I meant to say, it just blew my expectations that I had of it. At 160, I recommend it. At 200, I can't recommend it at 200. But anywhere from 160 and 180, I do recommend it. Um, this is possibly up in the top 5 best Saturn games I've played so far. Uh, I'm not saying it's solid in the top 5 because I haven't played all the Saturn games, but this this is up there. I, was, I wasn't expecting it to be this good or this fun. It was just very... Um, presentable and very fun and very uh, it kind of has a hold on you um, I would say Dodon Potch kind of did but not to this extent this 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 is I don't know it's just a different uh, environment or the presentation whatever the fuck it is it got me and it's fun and I'm still playing it even now 